Nigerian Football Federation has constituted the board of the Nigerian Premier League, NPL, with former chairman of the Interim Management Committee, IMC, Benga Elegbele as chairman. Elegbele, a former deputy chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Youth and Sport, and also former director general of the National Sports Commission, headed the IMC that brilliantly executed the last NPFL season and the Super Six, drawing high praise from the NFF and stakeholders in general. Other members of the new MPA board are Mohamed Nasiru Seidu, Pabeni Ogun, Daniel Amokachi, Oke Paloku, Suleiman Umar, and Dominic Yofa. Dalami Ibrahim is the secretary and legal advisor, while the chief operating officer is Davidson Owumi. The new MPFL board has a two year tenor, same as the board of the Nigerian National League, the Nigerian Women Football League, and the Nationwide League One that were inaugurated recently. And still on football. Women's 2023 World Cup co-host New Zealand Open 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup stunning 1995 World Champion Norway after they won four, the first time at the global stage. New Zealand women's team, also known as Football Friends, produced a huge upset as Hannah Wilkinson swept home Jackie Hans Cross at Eden Park. This is despite Real Perceivers' 89 minutes miss penalty after a handball by Tuva Hansen failed to dampen the celebrations. Elsewhere, Steph Catley's second half penalty gave World Cup co-host Australia a one-day victory over debutants in Republic of Ireland in Sydney. The Republic of Ireland frustrated the Matildas in the first half, but their good work was undone when Marisa Sheva pushed Harley Rasso and Brazilian referee Edina Alves point to the sport. Ireland came close to getting a famous equalizer, but the host held on to start their World Cup campaign with a win. Australia were frustrated by solid Irish defense. And that's sport news. I'm Adeniyi Aji Shafe.